In chapter 25 of David Copperfield, Agnes Wickfield sends David a note, and he goes to see her at the home of her father's London agent, Mr. Waterbrook, where she's staying. He apologizes profusely. Agnes is understanding, but warns him James Steerforth is a dangerous friend. Their father's drinking has gotten worse. Uriah Heep has taken advantage of Mr. Wickfield's weakness and become his business partner. Agnes says her father is afraid of the power Heep has over him, but it was the only way to save his business. Now, David hates Uriah Heep. Agnes urges David to try to be friendly for her father's sake. The next day, David attends a dinner at the Waterbrook's home, where he meets his old school friend, Tommy Traddles, who is studying to be a lawyer. Throughout the boring dinner, Uriah Heep keeps lurking near David. David invites Uriah back to his room for coffee. Uriah talks of his partnership with Mr. Wickfield and suggests he might one day marry Agnes. David controls his rage with difficulty. Uriah asks to sleep in David's living room because the place where he's staying locks the doors early. David spends a restless night dreaming about running a hot poker through Uriah. After Uriah leaves in the morning, David tells his landlady, Mrs. Krupp, to air out the room. In chapter 26 of David Copperfield, David worries Agnes Wickfield might feel that her father's neglect of his business is related to his devotion to her and that she might marry Uriah Heep in order to protect her father's business interests. Weeks go by. David's apprenticeship at Spenlow and Jorkins is secured, and Mr. Spenlow invites David to his house for a weekend. There, David meets Spenlow's daughter, Dora, who has just returned from finishing school in Paris. He's instantly smitten with her. Dora's companion is none other than Miss Murdstone, David says she and her brother treated him and his mother unkindly, but he agrees to a truce. The next day, David walks in the garden with Dora and her little dog, Jip. And after, he hopes for another invitation to Mr. Spenlow's house, but nothing comes. Mrs. Krupp advises him to keep a good heart and to know his own value. In chapter 27 of David Copperfield, David visits Tommy Traddles, who's renting a room in a rundown neighborhood. He finds Traddles happy, working hard at his law studies, and he's engaged. Not having received the inheritance from an uncle, which he was brought up to expect, Traddles has had to pull himself up into a profession and expects it will be a long time before he can actually marry. Traddles mentions he's renting his room from the Micawbers, and David has an unexpected and happy reunion with the couple. Mr. Micawber, who always seems to be confused about David's age, refers to him as the friend of my youth, which puzzles Traddles. David invites them all to have dinner in his room. 